The next step is putting our outer edges in place. To put the outer edges in place, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my banded sides first. So I'm going to want to move all of my blue outer edges to this side in order to, um, in order to just roll it in like we did with the mercury. So here's one over here, we just have to roll that back. When it's facing this way, we've got to get it up here. So we're going to do a three move algorithm, or three move in order to, to do that. Li, U, and then move it back to a L, UI. So that gets this up front here. Um, that's if it's facing you, that's if it's in this position. We can do the same thing to this over here, but, you know, just, just go the opposite way. So uh, just by way of demonstration, this one would be an R, U, I, R, I, U. So that put that over here. That put that one back down, but that's okay. So then, like any mercury cube, we've got the blue and red. We're going to move it up to here, so I'm going to move this to the side. Move this down here so that this blue can pick it up. This blue picks it up. It's by the red, so it's going to drag it up to this red over here. And this part is solved. And then we just follow suit. Here's this over here. So we'll do our move it up here. R, um, U, I, R, I, U. Here that is here, and it's in position to be picked up by this. So, it, rotate it down, grab it, and drag it. So we've got these two here. So let's say this is what you've got. Now bear in mind, you, you want to steer clear from the banded side. So if you see this, don't try to do that algorithm here. You're going to mess up your centers, because you're going to drag it right with it. So you need to move it away from there to do what you got to do. So in this case, if you see it here, move it to where you're going to move it down here. And to do that, you're going to move it down, if this were like the F, to a FI, UI, F. Okay. So in order to move it down there, here, do a FI, L, F, LI. And then we put it back in, in, the, uh, in the usual way. L, U, LI, UI, and now it's here. So I'm going to put this here, this goes down twice, here, up, and back. Alright, so that's where it needs to be, this is where it needs to be. Continue to follow suit here. I got this over here, move it in, find the red side, and move it up. So this is good, this is good, this is good. Now we just need the white and the blue. So where's the other one? It's right here, just so we know that we still have the cross. Now we want to move this out. If you ever run into, into a situation like this, we can't do any up movements because there's too many banded sides that, will, that are going to mess up our, our layers here. So we're going to actually have to move this down here. So if you can consider that this is non-bandaged, move this down, move this across so we can get rid of it, move this back up, and move this around. So now we've got this on the opposite side here, which is, uh, which is what we wanted. So move this to the side, double turn, move this across to pick it up, drag it across, and we have our, <clears throat> we have our blue side here, our blue cross. Now we're going to go to the other banded side here. But we're going to mess things up if we do the same strategy on the opposite side. Maybe it'll work. Honestly, I, I don't think I really pursued it that much, but we're going to do the Venus strategy where we rotate these guys in. And what we're going to be looking for is we're going to be looking for oranges over here to rotate in. So here's an example of one over here. If I move this here, I'm going to try to line this up with the white side just over here. And we're going to do the algorithm that rotates this into position here on the L side, Li, Fi, L, F, I, L, I, to F, L, I. And there it is. This goes here, and this goes here. So this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, and now we've got this over here. This just happens to be in place, so we're lucky about that, I guess. And now we've got to put this into place. So I'm going to rotate this, and rotate this into here, and it's that algorithm. 
just what we learned in the Venus cube, and there it's in place there. And move it back in. So now we see this is solved, this is solved, this is solved, and this is solved. Um, now in so doing, we mess that up, but if that happens, don't panic. It's easy to fix, because usually it's right over here, right opposite that. So then it's just a matter of moving a side over here, double turning it, grabbing it, dragging it, bringing it back. So we put this back in place, put this back in place, and now these are all solved here. That's the biggest hurdle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of my banded sides as the bottom, and I'm going to solve it in the middle here. And the way that I'm going to do that is since the green is up top here, I'm going to find all my non-greens. So here's a red and white. I'm going to put that here. So this needs to flip over here and here. I assume you know this, or you wouldn't be watching this, and that's in place. So we'll continue. Here's a orange and red, yellow and red, rather. And we're good. So this whole middle part is, is where it needs to be. Okay, in this particular situation, all of the greens are up here, so we have to bump these out. By three. Okay, red and yellow. Put it here, and I'm going to move it here. That's up. And you can see that, that put that in there. This one needs to be bumped out too. And it put it up here. So this gets moved down here. Same mechanism. And there it is. Once you have that done, once you have the bandage side done, now we want to work on the up. We want to work on these guys, basically. So we'll put these back in line. All of these should be green. And we already know algorithms of flipping these, and that algorithm is going to flip the outer edge. What we want to do is we want to do that algorithm far away from our banded side. So I'm going to move it over here. And as you can see, you know, we have our L formation. We can turn the L formation to here, because this doesn't move. I'm just going to turn it to here. And then it's that familiar algorithm to flip these. F R U R I F I U I. There's our line. U, R, U, I, F, I, and there's our X, and everything comes back here fine. Once you do that, we want to put these guys in line. And there's a lot of different confirmations. You already know how to do this from the Mercury Cube. There's absolutely no difference. But let's work through it. This is one where you have two solved and two are not. So we're going to do an adjacent middle flip. But we're going to have to do this away from a bandage side, because if we don't, we're going to be rotating these guys too. So it did put these 180 degrees of where they're supposed to be. It created parity here, which we can get out of by another middle flip. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do an opposite middle flip. Predictably solve these guys, but now we got a problem here. We'll put this back here. But we know how to deal with these. We saw that with mercury cubes and the super cubes. We move this to a bandage side, and then we do our U to R, U to R, U to R. We've got two bandage sides to choose from. The one that you want to choose, move it here, is you want to choose, the, um, in my case, the orange, the one that's right next to it. So this will come up here, flip it back, and lo and behold, all of these are solved. I didn't do anything different. This one is a little different. It's at 180 degrees of each other. So I'm going to do the middle swap to R, to U, to R, to U, to R. And predictably, this is OK. This is OK. We have parity here, and these are not OK. So if I move this to here, and we have these where they need to be. For further explanation, see previous tutorials, because we've been through that before. So we have all of our cross. We have all of our middle and all of our outer edges, um, inner and outer edges solved.